I'm going to go ahead and assume you are very particular about your floor plans, whether it's a code you have to adhere to or just a personal style that you like to have. This is a tool that you will want to be aware of. The component join tool, which works on wall components specifically. If you hover over the different components, you'll see them light up individually. It's similar to the wall join tool, but it actually will acknowledge any component that the wall goes under, or that the tool goes over, excuse me. Now I've created a, an obviously wrong situation here. This is not something anyone would ever want to have. And this is very easy to mend. Simply go to the L join mode, click first on this component, and second on that component, it'll snap those right together. And then you can see, we zoom in a little bit here, you fix that as well. Now, what if I don't want this miter to go this way? If I don't want this, I want this to go all the way across or this to go all the way straight up and just have it be butted at the end. I can go to the T-join mode, I have this joined to this. Now, why did this white square appear? Well, because this component was trying to L-join to this one. However, this one has now been told to T-join to this component. I simply have to click this and click this, and I've cleaned that right up. This is very common and is often what you'll want to see. Now, if you'll notice very carefully, there's no line between these two components. That's because I simply used the T-join mode. There's also capped join mode. If I click this again, that one more time, I have my line right in there. It's all about knowing how the components interact with each other and which mode you'll want to use to get the lines that you want. For instance, if I want this line here to show up again, I can simply click this, you join into that one, and I'll get my line again right there. And if I don't want it, I can simply do a uh, uncapped join to this component. Now that you can't, you don't, you aren't limited to just joining the same components to the same type of components. If I really wanted to, I could back these two off. In fact, we'll back them down to this level, and we can move this one all the way out to this component. We'll back this one down as well. Now, this is not extremely common. This is not something that you would do on a regular basis, but this is just showing you the control you have over it once you know what you're doing with the tool. Get those lines, add those lines, and now we have all the lines we want to draw. And like with a lot of other tools in Vectorworks, it's designed to let you do what you want to do. It's not going to restrict you to something that is a code, or it's not going to restrict you to something that's a local standard. It's going to let you join them however you'd like to join them. Generally, you would use this tool at the very final phase, after you've done all your wall construction and you pick your particular wall styles. It's easier to just do one pass at the very end where you get all your component joins the way you want them at the end.